and we've got a new way to collect data on the hurricanes this season. NOAA has partnered with the University of Southern Mississippi to launch a fleet of sea stars. Now, these are five small unmanned vehicles that were released into the waters around the U.S. Virgin Islands on the 31st of August. And these mini ocean robots will collect important data on hurricane information and development. How cool are these things? What a, what a fun job to have right there launching these guys. Joining us now to discuss the project is oceanographer Dr. Gregory Fultz. Dr. Fultz, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it this afternoon. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Now, let's talk about these uh, sea stars. These things are cool, right? These are unmanned little guys, but how exactly do they work and, and what are we measuring? Right, so they're, they're pretty small. They're about four feet long, about have a sail that goes up about two feet. Uh, they're propelled mostly by the wind acting on that sail. Um, and they also have a small electric motor in case they get into weaker winds, we can use that and uh, to help propel them uh, to go faster. And the goal is to get them into hurricanes. We wanna get them into hurricane eye walls and collect data. They measure the near surface atmosphere and ocean. So ocean temperature, air temperature, humidity, wind speed and direction, surface waves on the ocean um, and transmitting that data back to us in real time. We can use the data, we, we make it available to the public and it also goes to uh, forecast centers around the world. Wow, is this, is this real time data that we can collect or is it, is it near real time? Yeah, it's near real time, uh, just a small delay, you know, 10 or 20 minute delay and we get the data and uh, send it out around the world. Wow, that's yeah. great. I mean, we, we've seen the success with the sail drones before, but they seem bigger, right? Are these smaller than the sail drones? Yeah, they are. They're definitely smaller. Um, sail drones are about 23 feet long, mm -hmm. typically, are the ones that are used. And uh, these are about four feet. Yeah, so, so a lot smaller. So you think these have more of an advantage in a sail drone? Are they easier to maneuver? Um, yeah, so what we like about these sea stars is that they're so easy to deploy. Mm -hmm. uh, they're small, they're lightweight. One or two people can pick them up, uh, put them in a small boat, take them offshore a little bit and then we direct them out into the open ocean. And this gives us a lot of flexibility uh, in terms of how quickly we can deploy them, where we can deploy them. Um, and they're also more cost effective than a lot of the larger drones uh, that we have out there. So that's an advantage. Yeah, that's a definite point. Now you talked about measuring wave heights. What's the biggest wave height some of these guys can take, do you think? Ooh, yeah, that, no, that's a good question. Um, we haven't tested them in a hurricane yet, mm. uh, so we'll see. Hopefully we get one into a hurricane and I can let you know later. <laughs> um, but they've gone into storms in the North Atlantic and they did really well. Uh, so, you know, waves up to 20 feet or more. Okay, so good. So we have confidence, yeah. That's good. Of course, we were looking at some of these that can get up to 40 feet waves. So if it can survive that, I think we've, we've got something going. So we, we, get the, yeah. we get all the data with this. Are we talking about trying to forecast for the storm that is currently in? Or are, we, are we collecting the data so we can put it in future models? Yeah, a uh, combination. So the data goes back in real time. So it's going into the uh, forecast models mm -hmm. around the world, can be ingested into them, and that can aid with uh, forecasts for the same hurricane. Uh, if the data looks good, if we get one into a hurricane, the data looks good. We'll also start sending that data to directly to National Hurricane Center forecasters so that they can use it to know the current conditions in the hurricane, uh, the extent of the wind field, for example, the waves, and use that also to uh, aid their forecasts. Well, I mean, this is, these are spectacular. You've got five of them right now. You deployed them by the U.S. Virgin Islands. What, what is the array like right now? Where are they all situated? And they're just waiting, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, so we have a couple of different ways that we uh, do this. So we have five of them that are just, like you said, kind of waiting mm -hmm. in the North Atlantic, in the Western Atlantic, north of the Caribbean. And if we see a hurricane coming, we'll try to direct them into the hurricane. Uh, we also have a couple on land. These are on the Gulf Coast in Mississippi. And what we do with these is if, if we see a hurricane forecasted to approach, in, like in the Gulf or even on the East Coast, uh, we'll put them on a truck and get them quickly to a good deployment uh, location and then deploy them ahead of the hurricane a few days ahead, ideally, and try to steer it into the hurricane. So that's a more effective kind of a direct when we need it, where we need it effective, efficient way to uh, to deploy these. That's like a minute, man. I love it. So, Dr. Fultz, the last question, who, who made these drones? Or did, did the university help make these and design them? Yeah, so Ocean, the company Ocean, we've been working with them. Uh, it's been great working with them. They uh, build them and they um, also deploy them. Uh, we've been working with the University of Southern Mississippi. NOAA has a very good relationship, cooperative institute with the University of Miss Southern Mississippi that we've been uh, working with, and they've deployed these uh, vehicles previously uh, into the Gulf and got good data, so kind of did a test, so it was a natural partnership uh, to work with them on this. 
That's great. Listen, I, I wish you guys lots of luck. I want to see what happens. Obviously, we don't want a huge hurricane, but if you get one, I hope you get right up the gut, and we'll see what kind of data we get. Dr. Yep. Gregory Foltz, thank you so much, and, and come back and talk again when we get some uh, data. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll try to weed through it with you. Sounds good. Right, yeah, great. yeah, definitely. Thank you.